Okay. Good morning, guys. It's bright and early. Just eating some breakfast. Um, we're here in Chilliwack, BC, on the edge of the Fraser River, about to go sturgeon fishing. Super excited. It's one of my bucket list fish, so hopefully I can get that checked off the list today. I think Chase had something to say. And plus, we got Ashley with us today, so I'm sure she's going to catch whatever she wants. So. <laughs> I've had a pretty lucky couple of last fishing trips when we went um, halibut fishing, so if you haven't, you should go check those out. But we're just pulling up to the launch. So we're gonna get this rolling. We met our guide Steve and started our cruise down the river. Our first stop was here to catch some bait. Um, we were trying for northern pike minnows with bobber and jig. The guide informed us that the sturgeon fishing has been a little off this week. With the bite being limited, he gave us two options. We could try to do everything ourselves, or he could help us out with the hook set. Hey, look at him. Yeah, he's a little small. Given that he is a master of this trade, we decided to let him do the hook sets to increase our chance of landing that nice sturgeon. Your offer is coming at us real faster. I think you popped up. Oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, I keep giving them to you, you keep saying it's right. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be like me. This is sturgeon number two <laughs> that I didn't land. The camera wasn't rolling, but that first fish flew four feet out of the water and popped the hook when it splashed down. The guide guessed it was probably close to seven feet. Total bummer, but it was just incredible to see a fish that big fly out of the water. I give her two fish. And I'm shaking it up. She's shaking it up. I'm like, that good enough for you? Like, I don't want to get one. I'll get a better one. It's got to be 12 foot thick. Yeah. Yeah, that's good enough. 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 Don't try to screw it up this time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> but if you lose this one, I'm tossing yeah, you, okay? Just so you know. Yeah, if you oh, lose this one, you're fired. Yeah. Yeah. You're going for it. Just focus on pressure. Yeah, take that line when you can. Follow them over to that side. Do you want the go? Um, I don't know. I think I'm okay for now, maybe. Reel down, reel down. Lots of pressure. Oh, I jabbed him and he just came charging at the boat. <laughs> it was like, it was like winded me just trying to keep up reeling with him. That's what happened to the other one. Just when I handed it to you, he charged at the boat. He got lots of pressure. Honestly, pressure. this was harder than I thought. Pressure, pressure, pressure. The fight in this fish was unreal. That was a good bite. The line was coming off the reel by the time I got to it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm keeping it. We gotta watch out for this guy. He's good. He's unpredictable. I have a small problem. One of the bars in my cradle snapped yesterday because the guy was holding the fish and then dropped it on the bar. Oh. oh. 
see what, figure something out here. Drill down, face them, just wrap them, lift up hard, see so what we got here. Go under the boat. Yeah, it's gonna go under the boat. Yeah, wait, 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 just hold it low. There we go. There he is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. He's boatable, but like I said, my cradle's been snapped. Um, so, I'll tell you what, do me a favor, let's bring him around to this side. Get him in a little bit of a chair. Keep that in Okay. Just keep lots of bend in that rock and keep him away from stuff. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you lose him now, you're really going in. Let me tell you. <laughs> my first sturgeon. There's only one. Bar. Okay. So just pulling this away. Mm -hmm. Lift up hard, step straight back. This is on my to do list for fixing on my day off. <laughs> open your mouth. Open. I said open your mouth. God, I would hate to bite an 11 footer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this one will tear you to pieces because he's quite sharp. He, what, so, what, just because he's young? Yeah. Well, that varies from there again, varies from fish to fish. Uh, oh. The younger ones do tend to be sharper. So, best thing to do will be both of you guys throw on some gloves while he's being good. What you're going to do is you're going to get your hand just underneath here, like that, and like this. And you're going to hold on for dear life. Just like that, okay? Just under the lip. And then you're going to scoop here, okay? You grab that. And don't let go of that face because that's what controls it. There you go. You're gonna right scoop them here. here. Yep, just just like that. Okay. okay you're gonna this hand. You're gonna grab like this. Yeah. You hold them like that. And you're gonna scoop right here. Okay. So go ahead, grab and lift, and curl them, curl them right up. Okay, turn around. No, twist them back a little bit. Twist them. Like that. Yeah. I'll make them look about seven feet long. <laughs> yeah. You've done this once or twice, eh? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, like this way? Oh, this way. <laughs> okay, just drop them in the water. Thank you. Okay, whatever you well, Bye. And he's out. Do that again. <laughs> Apparently oh, that was good enough and you didn't shake it off this time. <laughs> <laughs> See how I fed him? Yeah. Probably wouldn't have been over. Hold that right 90 degrees. Hold 90 degrees to the boat. Don't come this way. Don't like this. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna rub the rod. That's the edges? <laughs> Come to the very back. There you go. That's perfect. I'm going to change that bait anyway. Oh, look at this poor duty slicks. Ow. <laughs> <Yeah>. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Next toughest day. fish to a sturgeon is those guys. You got a little one. Tell them it's a nice size. It is great. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Okay. Now, hang on. Right around the other side. I'm gonna make that thing look huge for you. <laughs> he's, not, he's not sharp at all. Slam those gloves on real quick. Come in and grab this one from behind. Other way, other way. Tight as you can. Yeah. Put your hand under his belly. Push them. It's like stretch them. Now we don't want to hold them high. Now turn around. Actually, we're gonna do it this way because this one's better. So, get him high. Pull it in and push the fish out. There we go. <laughs> this is hilarious. I can't believe how big this thing looks. People aren't going to believe it. It looks like it's six feet long. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Oh, awesome. Wow. Oh, my God. Serious. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, that, you tell me that doesn't look bigger than the one you caught. Right? Eh? Yeah, it does. That worked out really good. You held it just right. A lot more pale, eh? Than it's very, yeah. Yeah, completely different fish. Different coloring. Yeah. Totally smooth. Longer nose. 
Yeah. Come here. That was a good one. I'll grab that last. That was a good solid bite. Watch for the jump. Don't be quite so high if you jump. 40 degrees. On to squawfish. Woo! Well, there he goes. <laughs> that's, that's why you don't have that rod high, so you can get those lines when they do that. No pressure, but you'll be able to hold this over her for the rest of her yes. life. Yes! <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. No pressure. No. It to you, but if you do want to use the pussy bro, yeah. <laughs> you, you have to say the three words. Go to there, there you go. <laughs> just, a, just in case you were thinking about it. Oh you never know. I mean, a lot of guys have said it. Just out of nowhere, right? Yeah. I didn't really mess with it. Just kind of came <laughs> and grabbed it. Kind of grabbed it a little bit and then just like, I mean, that's just what we needed. Oh, that's a good one. Look pretty sizable when broke surface. Yeah. If you can get them, I'll make them look even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, angles, remember, it's all about the angles. <laughs> Not real fast in here, so. Maybe we may be floating down here shortly. Let's see what he does. I can tell you one thing though, he ain't come in the boat. I can't really go forward because it gets so shallow. Oh yeah, I should take a little bit of that. Yeah, if this way, if we follow and go up that way, that might be a good spot to, to deal with it. It's always up to them though, it depends on where they go and how they get there. Get right there, exactly, yeah. yeah. They just bug off, we're going that way. I'm going at you. Lift on them, lift on them, real, real down hard, real, down real fast. And lift on them, get some pressure on them. Big as you want them to be. Yeah, that's right. Watch out when he goes under the boat. We always got to get that 90 yeah. degrees. There he is. That's nice. Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to sit right at the very back. Yeah. Just sort of keep them in the area. Okay. And I'm gonna, I gotta pull up this chain. Yeah. And then we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to veer off to the right here. Yeah. And go off this little channel because it's shallow right there. It'll be a great place to land them. Try and keep them up high. Up high. We're going right up the little hill here. It's like real shallow right here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of try to shuffle to the right here a bit. Yeah. We're only 
like in a foot or so of water. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of come back a little bit. Is he coming with us? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now when I stop the bow, don't back off. Okay, you have to stay at the very back. Yeah. And even if he comes right to you, reel up right to that weight, yeah. and then and then shift him to the side. But don't back up because you'll pull him into the swim grid and, and whatnot. Okay, we don't want that. We want to bring him alongside the boat. Prepare to get wet. I'm going to go in the water too, I think. Oh, yes, you are, and you're going to like it. <laughs> we have about 50 more feet to go. Okay. It'll take me a second to secure the boat. Okay, I'm going to make a hard left here in a second. Going in. You can stop at any time. Where? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice little bank here. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, swing this way. Oh, this is perfect. You lift up. Alright, so if you want to just take that, put that right in the fork, right where it comes to a V on the tail. Got a measurement here. Got it right there? Yep. 76. Very nice. What's this little right. knobby? This way. Oh, yeah. Now I want both of you at the back of the fish. This experience was just amazing. So many good laughs happened in the boat today, and we both got to land a beautiful sturgeon. As an added bonus, we learned a couple tips on photography too. It's all about the angle, 